That is... concerning. I don't think that's going to become an actual problem. Famous last words. Where do I want to go next with you? Anyone home? This is a slightly more difficult one, so it'll be a bit longer. Entire planet covered in a vast structure. So we have two Mega Pluses. Oh, that's right, they're both relic. Oh, oh. Oh. That's a relic world. Oh. Um. Yeah, we got a lot of archaeological digs. You know what? I'm actually curious. So, size 25 relic world. Hold on. Hold the f up. What? How did I miss this? Alright, well, uh, guess what? Your objective, right? Okay, is there anything special about this? It's a ruined world. It doesn't look like it's named anything fancy. It doesn't. So, I'm going to excavate this site. I'm going because this one here has a very low difficulty, but has a unique name. Meaning, I have a f I know what this one does, and we can't deal with the result of this one yet. So I'm ignoring it. Because I don't feel like losing the majority of my fleet. Well, okay, losing my fleet if I try to deal with the problem that comes up from it. Oh, yes, we can also actually bolster our fleet a little bit more. I would go with Corvettes, but I'm going to wait for the destroyers to be researched. We can easily afford the destroyers before too long. And hey! We're actually positive on energy. Where now? Where is it now? It's nowhere near us, is it? But hey, we have Scavenger Bot, which provides best in slot miscellaneous buffs. And then this thing, which can provide a lot of buffs. We detected some kind of utterly massive space installation drifting quietly at the edge of the Ebenauer system. Although preliminary scans show it to be very old, the structure has an intense power signature. Several smaller structures can be seen floating near the main installation, and all of them appear to be heavily armed. If we are to learn the true nature of this ancient relic, we will likely have to overpower its defenses through force of arms. We flee the hostile swarm. Technology conceived. You killed one of my best scientists! Wait. Where did you... Okay. So, these guys are literally locked to leviathans, and a hostile nation on the other side. These guys are just as screwed as we are, but they're like, okay, so we've got two of these two things. They're not going to leave. We've got this guy. He's not as scary as the alien swarm that's going to devour us if we leave our guard down for like half a second. <sighs> I can accept this. Give me deviancy. Or get me a reduction in deviancy, and from our current shipyard, toss me up two more science vessels. I need to rebuild my science fleet. And not just rebuild my science fleet, I want to ensure that I can continue my excavation work, because I have a lot of- you know what? Yitra, uh, not even just Yitra. After you're done with this, get me a- special project is complete. I was to get me a construction ship, but crystalline entities are unbreakable. Does that mean a diamond is unbreakable? Is that a JoJo reference? Crystalline entities. The name itself a compromise between rival factions of xenobiologists and xenogeologists on Yutra are probably alive. An earlier and perhaps more descriptive name of them was silicate animate matter, as they have little in common with biological life. Solitary beings. Each individual crystal sovereign, rarely seen with more than a sentinel and a smaller cohort entity. So from the cohort, the sentinel be clearly being subservient to the sovereign of the group. Subtle nuances of crystalline entity social hierarchy relationships are lost on us. The entities do not seem to mate, and we've yet to observe any crystals that are recognizably older or younger than others. Contrary to an earlier hypothesis, the shifts in hue between individual and crystalline entities seem to be related not to their age, but to their latent internal charge, which can be violently unleashed. 
It appears as if those sporadic fluctuations in this charge alter the reflective of the crystal. It sounds potentially useful. It's a permanent empire-wide buff to energy. Hallelujah. Alright, so you are surveying... Okay. You're investigating the asteroid in orbit. That's so beneath you, uh, you are going to actually be picked up. Which vessel are you commanding? Secret Vessel 3. Oh, busy investigating, that's why. Cancel? No. Ugh. Recruit a new scientist. You're older, yes. So what I'm going to do here is, instead, I'm going to order you to stop, because this is going to be dumb. No, 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 no. Un like, ugh. Fine, fine, I'll do something else. Continue your automatic exploration afterwards. Uh, let's see. You. Take the scientist, continue your exploration. You. Take our new free scientist. This scientist is going to go on off. This one is currently not being explored. You will excavate this site. I want to see if anyone's home. Our construction is complete. I don't know why I put my water bottle over there because I just straight didn't notice where it was. Someone towed an asteroid into orbit. BB is indeed growing. Is Slowly but surely, BB is growing. We have found an anomaly. We have also found the pause button. Also gonna leave that be for now, because it's stupid to try to mess with. Expensive? Yes. Useful? Yes. Keep the pop growth flowing, because I need it. I need it. I need more people. More people to throw into the meat grinder. Expensive? Yes. Maintenance? Yes. Just just go. It's gonna destroy my economy, but I'll I'll deal with it. Oh yeah, you produce dark matter. Uh let's see. I was making you tech. And we will need a maintenance job, so where's the maintenance drones? There we go. I can't remember if the synaptic drones actually I uh, you cannot, actually. Not here. Not with these guys yet. You can take a look at the decisions. You can't encourage pop growth further. Not at the current moment. In the future, maybe, but as of right now, not really. I still gotta wait a little bit. I want to get the alloy foundries up and running on this world, but that's still a little ways away. Because if I do that now, it's going to utterly destroy... That's the wrong world. Whoops. Yeah, no, wait. Why don't I just get an agricultural district? Let's go. Let's do it. Do it live. Do it now. Our construction is complete. Your construction is complete, but your construction is also not complete. Keep working, slaves. I could build a second, like, fleet. How much strength was behind these guys? Not we too much. No, it was always... There was always the empire-wide one. It's... I think if you're a devouring swarm, you can't do it. Because the devouring swarm already has an empire-wide one, which would be overpowered, but... Actually, no, you're right. Now that I think about it, that would be really dumb. I think there is one that encourages pop growth on planets, just I don't have it. Federation of Savach. Oh! Okay, so someone else excavated it, so I was just... I was just... I, I, my brain just decided to say no. What excavation are you talking about? Oh, all the way out here. Maybe? Alright, 
right, just keep going. Just, just, just keep going. Don't stop. I closed borders to you already. I need six more. Years. Wow, a while. Science Officer Autonomous Drone Thirty reports that Angular One is covered pole to pole in a web-like network of electric impulses. These networks respond to external stimulus. Vessel 3 experimented with sending a low-voltage pulse under the surface, resulting in a wave of illumination that rippled through the network, like a circuit board. Even more remarkable, the webs rearranged themselves. The secondary pulse revealed that elements had organized into a new pattern, centered around where the previous pulse had contacted the surface of Angular 1. The discoveries confirmed that their long-held theory that life can exist almost purely as electrical impulses, independent of cellular or viral structure. Fascinating. Get rid of the archaeological digs. I want to continue my digs. My dig sites. Oh, hang on. Hang on. You are no longer going to be doing an automatic exploration. We are instead going to recruit Discovery Anomaly Chance Person. And you'll be doing automatic exploration. You instead are going to be a maniacal drone whose sole objective is actually so we can actually do this one and we can research the signs of battle you can go through and do anomalies because you're we have two archaeological digs going on simultaneously should be oh great we got another ah mushroom people now oh, we can saute you, I guess. Our construction is complete. You're not fanatical purifiers. I am almost depressed. Our construction is complete. New archaeological site. So we. Null void beams have been researched. I can we like we can use moats now, but we don't have anything that needs them yet. Um, yeah, let's just do the research station output because we're starting to get to the point where we have so many mining stations that if we don't do that, it's just shooting ourselves in the foot. Our construction is complete. Pretty good aggro world. You just sit here and wait. Is um. Cross down, cross down into the light. Of max cohesion. Are we gonna have problems yet from cohesion? From isolated systems. What? Look, no real isolated systems. Yes, I, I don't think. While well, expensive, we might as well upgrade just to see what it looks like. That is true, they are expensive cohesion models. Spiritual Seekers. We sense prey. What? No. We have surveyed the Another system. So many archaeological digs. Hello. Who are you? We're connected. We do sense prey. Our situation log is updated. Oh yeah, no. Mount a research the graveyard expedition. Get the listening arrays. Get the murals. Um, is there anything else I really want you to do at this exact moment in time? The answer is I couldn't be bothered any less. That's seven. That's eight. It looks like seven, but it's eight. Like 180 days. Nah, you're good for now. We'll, we'll see if you level up enough and then maybe try it again. I would love to fill in the gaps right now. This one I don't want to touch. We sense prey. We have found an anomaly. We're sensing a lot of prey recently. Leave it be for now. 
how are we comparatively? Their fleet power is still superior. I'd love to go and gut them. How about you? Your tech level is inferior. You want a defensive pact with only these guys. Can I declare war on you again? No, I can't. Uh, I can't declare war. Uh, can I declare war on you? I can declare war on you. You only have a defensive pact with those guys. No one else is guaranteeing your independence. So if I declare war on these guys, logically, I could hit these guys up. But at the same time, I also don't have my destroyers. So I can't do anything about killing these men just yet. Yeah, I can crack open the alien box. I don't want to do that just yet, because I also know that if you put too many species traits on something, there were bugs in the past, and then you from using it. Missile boats are great, but I don't have missiles. I'm still expanding, sir. Our construction is complete. Our construction is complete. Our archaeological sites. Oh, wait, wasn't I building another construction ship? Our soil is strengthened. I ordered a construction ship, right? I'm not crazy. We have surveyed the system. Oh, we I... have found them all. Yeah, no, I only have two. Let's fix that. I, I needed a third because I wanted to start, like, you know, catching up and building stuff. Our special project, project is complete. Team under that drone has finished the expedition. Thankfully, the ship graveyard. Proved to be a technological treasure trove, so we get a lot of engineering research, plus another bonus to engineering research if we so choose to take it. Get that one because it's closer, and then turn around and grab the listening array. Our construction is complete. You can go up here, grab this engineering station, and come over here, and we have another archaeological dig. What do we get here? City of Ghosts. A surface expedition has reported back some astounding findings. The planet has multiple major cities, all abandoned but in quite good shape considering their age. The infrastructure and urban planning of each city is remarkably structured and harmonious, indicating a highly cohesive civilization driven by centralized collective ideals. Communism? Perhaps even a gestalt consciousness of some kind. Based on the architecture and interior fixtures, the species that built all this seems to have been small fungoids. A fairly low state of technological advan of technical advancement. Or something they all went wrong remains unknown. So something similar to us. Neat. Speaking of which, uh, Hokrai is going to be the next place we're going to expand to, simply because that world is simply too good to pass up. It'll be our first research world as there's massive bonuses to research, and it will eventually upgrade from Relic World into Arcology, if I remember correctly, with the way Relic Worlds work now. I would love to use... Wait. Oh, okay. Sorry. I was looking at the districts, and I was just confused for a moment, because, wait a minute, what do those districts actually mean? How long until we get our next set of traditions? I wish I knew. Back up. Pause the game so I can actually like reset things on the other screen because I accidentally messed something up on my own stream. Sweet. 30 months. Can't wait till I get limited autonomy. That's just going to uh, dump down the time it takes to research everything. Get more unity. We have enough people. We don't have enough people. We never have enough people. We have surveyed the system. Communications entered what? Ah, Decron sequence. A machine intelligence. 
We are the Decron Sequence. Do not be alarmed by our non-organic nature like you. We are fully sapient Class Three civilization. We are willing to engage in diplomacy with any subunits you designate for this purpose. <sighs> Gentlemen, you know my response. We sense prey. I just can't eat people yet. Like, I want people in my diet, but I can't get people in my diet. Can I look? Our construction is complete. I wait four more years. We're almost done with like the insane amount of things we're exploring through. It's just taking our sweet time. Also, we might just build right here just to cut them off. I would love to, but I think even the AI, or I think even in-game, most people would realize, hey, the thing that eats people is getting migration treaties. Uh, they totally just don't want to eat us, right? Right? Yeah, we'll just go right over to their planets. I can't imagine a way the conversation would go down that wouldn't end up that way. I think our drones are going to start kicking the bucket soon, so I'm really going to have to boost my techs somehow, but there's no easy way to do it. We're at the research station output, so I guess that kind of works. Our construction is complete. I mean, we're already running a food deficit to how large of a degree? Oh, baby, they're declaring people rivals. Oh, hold on. Yeah, that's good enough. Build. Build, damn you. Build! Archaeological excavation site pending. Massive dilapidated structures cover the entire surface of this world. At one time, this city planet must have been home to billions, but now it is empty. The ones who lived here must have left clues about what happened to them, but finding them will take a detailed examination of the surface. Start digging. Don't stop. I actually run out of water before the end of the stream. I'd be impressed, because I'd be like one of the... Okay, no, it usually happens. All right, let's see if we can actually come, like, join up these two desperate, disparate ends of our empire. Our special project is complete. Intriguing. It's the alien murals. It's an event that's been in Stellaris for how long? A lot of research, though. I think this is society research, so... Some sort of aerosol dispersal device. Test confirmed sufficient. Trace aromatics. Our situation is updated. Factory study. Communications intercepted. De Democratic Crusaders. We sense prey. I'm not doing enough prey yet. I need to eat. But there's just not enough. Crack them on the map because it just I want to know. Okay, so the olfactory study is... Year. Yeah. I mean, you can take a break, just research, and then go back to automatic exploration. I, I mean, I can't hate you or fault you for doing that. I want to eat some people. What, okay, where is my tech going? Is it like non existent still? I just love how it like, doesn't even. Project project is complete. Complete. It doesn't even announce it anymore. You just see a we closed borders to you. Just slowly slide down from the top of the screen and then just go back up. Fox is a needed document of a sort. Drone admits that it had been hoping for a historical record or some other kind of codex significant to whatever culture left it behind, but they were disappointed. The true nature of the box seemed to be a collection of fairly short narratives, which by the rapid changes in odor towards the end of each sequence are intended to surprise or be interpreted as comedic. 
technique used to store and reproduce specific cells. Smells is of some interest, but the tales it tells are not. They're left with an uncomfortable feeling to be unwilling to become intimately familiar with what certain gaseous byproducts of alien digestion smell like. However, Autonomous Drone is unwilling to speculate as to why the box was dumped on this frozen hellscape of a planet. Yeah, I suppose it's like... It exists. Alright, can these plants grow faster? No, they can't. They can only be at an eternal deficit, no matter Technology what I do. Conceived. More upgrades from the research station. Get me... A war breaks out. Oh, baby, we get two people who get to kill each other. They're nowhere near me. What? We Hold on. What? System. Are they, like, fighting each other? No. There's a wormhole here, isn't there? Somewhere. Come on, there's wormhole study. I think. Further studies of the lost, or the last civilization of Caspadian IV have given rise to more questions than answers. The plain sturdy structures are thousands of years old, and all of them seem to have been constructed at roughly the same time, perhaps as brief as a single century. Similarly, any additions or renovations to the urban structures seem to be done planet-wide at sudden, widely separated intervals. The oddly punctuated development of this society seems to show no appreciable change in population size. The joke's probably going to be something... The joke's probably going to be something akin to... It was just a Stellaris game that was abandoned after a while. Oh yeah, we have a lot of alloys. I should actually build something at some point to that accept... To that... Not accept or exert or something similar. You can build that outpost, and then build stations there, and then we'll move you up here, build here, build here, build here, build the rest of this stuff, and we should be good. Hmm, maybe that is a joke on the tall bridge play style. Anyway, get me some more outposts. I really, really want this uh, society research. Sir, you can't build devouring swarms tall. If you do, you will just die. There's, if you can't diplomacy at all, then you're, you're signing your own death warrant, as far as I'm concerned. Alright, you know what? It's been a little while. Um, oh, right, I can get spawning pools! How could I forget spawning pools? I can't get spawning pools for you, but your first building now will be spawning pools. After much fruitless sifting through the ruins, a number of clues pointed our search in the right direction. It remains of some kind of planetary data processing and storage center. If we can find a way to gain access to whatever records remain, it will be the key to unraveling this planet's mysterious past. Sir.